So the last experiment we're gonna do today, guys, is the infamous Coke and Mentos experiment. Let's talk about that for a second. Look at this really, look at this Mento. Don't you think it's really small? In comparison to the Coke bottle, it's very, very tiny. But when we put it into the Coke, the Coke bottle, I'm not gonna do that now since we're indoors, but you'll see it in a minute, it's gonna make a really, really big explosion. Just like, just like that tiny Mento, we don't have to be a celebrity or older or taller to make an impact in our communities. We can make an impact just as we are. Just like Jesus says in Matthew 5, verse 13 to 6, 16, we need to be a lamp shining for the whole world to see. see. Now, if you have a lamp in a room, you could notice that it's usually very small in comparison to the size of the room, but it lights up the whole room. Just like that, we don't have to be to be a celebrity or a tall person or an old person person to make an impact in our communities. We can make an impact just the way we are. Now, let's go outside and, and see what happens when we make mixed Coke and Mentos. So, we're outside. You guys are probably be outside too. This one's a little messy. So there's three ways you can do this fun Coke and Mentos experiment. First, you can make a paper chute to put over top of it. You can add a balloon and blow up a balloon. Balloon over top of it. I'll show you in a bit. Or you can just drop it in the old fast way. But first, I'm going to teach you how to make a paper chute, just like the one I made. So it's really simple. What you're going to do is you're going to just loop this over the top of a Coke bottle. You're going to find where the edges meet. You're going to grab a piece of tape, and you're going to tape it together. Just give me a minute to find the, the edge of the tape. You're going to tape it together, and you're going to have your very own shoot that you can place over top of it. I made mine really quickly just to show you guys. I recommend you guys take your time to get a nice finished product like mine. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be able to fit over without falling off. So, once you've done that, you're going to drop three mentos in. I'm going to back up so I don't get covered in Diet Coke. So, one, two, three. Look at it go! Go, guys. That's a very cool reaction. That is getting everywhere. As I said, it's very messy. This one fell off. I'm gonna put that right back in. Okay, so the second way we're gonna do this is we're gonna use a balloon and we're gonna use the Coke spirit to blow up the balloon. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch open a balloon. It works great if it were harder to put the metal in, in, in the balloon for you, just so you don't don't have to struggle to do it by yourself. And once you've done that, you're gonna stretch the balloon over the top of the lid like this. And then you're just gonna drop them in simple like that. And then sometimes you have to stress them just a little to get the to get them out. And yep, yeah, that's already working. And see, it just kind of blows up the balloon for you. Now you got a coke balloon. So the last and final way you can do this is you can just plain old and simple put a bunch of mentos in your Coke can. So, one minute. Woo! Final way we're gonna do this, play old Coke and mentos. I got a two liter bottle just for fun. It's really self-explanatory. I hope you guys have a great week. See you in the next video. Bye.